All right, now we all love taking naps. Now, what happens to your body if you're able to take a nap every single day? Right. Okay? I mean, this is not like a three-hour nap. This is like 20 to 90 minutes in that range. Um, after one day, mm-hmm. um, first, your body isn't used to taking naps. You have to work through that. Y- you, um, you may have issues sleeping at night the first day because, again, you're getting more sleep than you're mm-hmm. used to. So going to sleep may be a little bit tougher in the evening. And especially depending on what time right. you go to bed, too. Right. So if you take a nap too late in the afternoon then try yeah. to go to bed at your normal time, it could be not enough of a disparate difference between when your nap was and when right. bedtime is. But that first day, you'll notice some differences in clarity and all that. Uh, after a week now, now this period's the hardest because your body is starting to transition into this whole nap thing uh, and getting used to it. Um, so you have to make room for your nap. And again, getting your schedule in line to make this happen is the difficult part. After a month, you see a huge difference. Your improved memory, uh, boost creativity, um, enhance emotional control and stamina. So less crying fits, I guess. And you're able to keep going, keep working. All right, you need to start napping because you cry every day. I know. And then <laughs> after, <laughs> after six months now, uh, major health boost. Uh, you have long-term effects of napping. It okay. kicks in. Um, they found in a Greek study... Um, that it reduced the risk of dying from heart heart disease uh, and getting more rest also increases your your sex drive as well. Again, that's after six months. Now, keep in mind that if you want to take naps for a week, which is awesome, at 2 o'clock every day, which your is great. Your body is looking for that at 2 o'clock every day. Even though you yeah. slept eight hours the night before, at 2 p.m., your body says, okay, nap time. But you're driving you somewhere. You have an internal yeah. clock that has expectations. I know. Watch somebody who goes to bed normally at 9 o'clock. Uh-huh. And, like, you go out with them to, like, a concert. And you look over at 9. Yep. And they are feeling it. Their head is like a gigantic oversized bowling ball. Now, give them a half hour, mm-hmm. 45 minutes to work through that. And they yeah. might get their second win to rally. Yep. But right around that 10 minutes to 20 minutes before and after. Oh. That's me. <laughs> Weekends, 9 p.m., that's yeah. like, like 8 p.m. You're yawning. You're tired. Yeah, but at 9, the head on the couch it, becomes to roll. Mm-hmm. Either it's drink coffee or if you can make it till about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. You get the second win. It's, it's yeah, different. you pass that. That I know. Like your circadian rhythm or whatever they call it. You've kind of worked or by it, but yeah. you got to get through that. There's almost like a half an hour swing in there, like right before and right after. Where you're like, oh, it's time. And your body's like, I don't care if you slept 12 hours and you just drank a pot of coffee. It's time. We we nap at this time. Let's Mm go. You know what we're supposed to do. Why aren't we doing it? Get more info on naps right now at the Yes FM Facebook exit 967 Yes FM and the Merge in the Morning page at yesfm.com.